Now it's time to think about it. How low have some local fans sunk when extra protection needs to be brought in for opposition fans? You've got to be kidding me. Hawaii football fans allegedly throwing things at and spitting on opposition fans? Look, I know some sorry people use football games as an extension of their own lacking lives, getting tanked up or simply unable to control emotions. But come on now. Do we really need to fall into the abyss of other horrible places to play? And it's hard to expect crowd control with tight aisles and thousands watching every move of HPD. You know someone getting out of control will invariably get legal help to claim police brutality. Ironically, it was Fresno State fan complaints that necessitated this upcoming increased security action. Ironic, I say, because I heard tales from longtime season ticket holding Oregon State fans a few years back who said that they were spit on at Fresno State. And when an elderly OSU fan and Fallon had to be carried out with a broken rib, the red-clad Fresno crowd cheered, laughed, and yelled at her. Real class. Remember the idiots at San Diego State along Ragger's Rail who threw batteries and yelled racial slurs at our UH baseball team? Aloha spirit, friendly rivalries, the spirit of competition. Hey, if you can't handle the emotions of a game, yes, it is a game, and a few innocuous anti-Hawaii Cretans, then stay home. Don't ruin the event for everyone else, and that includes local fans as well as guests from the mainland. If you have control issues, a bad hair day, or simply a built-up testosterone level, then rent the Dirty Dozen or Rambo and eat your beef jerky in a dark room at home, but stay away from Aloha Stadium this Friday and every week, or go to jail. Think about it.